Hi family, welcome to today's devotion. Our scripture is found in Isaiah 43, 18 through 19, and it says, Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and in streams in the wasteland. Have you ever been faced with a new decision? It can be any decision, a new career, a decision to move here or not to move here, a relationship, starting a new ministry. It can be anything, but it means change. And if you're anything like me, that can be pretty scary. You know, we often tend to focus on the past things and all the things that make us comfortable. And we get really frightened about the unknown things in the future. Uh, if you even know me a little bit, you know that I am not fond of change. I like things that are familiar and predictable and that word comfortable again. If I'm really honest, um, a lot of it has to do with it's a lot of work to make changes. And I just can flow in it if I'm not having to make changes. But the problem with that is am I flowing in the right direction? You know, I don't even rearrange things much in my house. And part of that is because, you know, I know where everything is at. And then there's this other issue I have is that I tend to hang on to a lot of stuff. But I'm starting to realize the problem with hanging on to a lot of stuff. That it really doesn't give a lot of room for the future. And so in that, I realized that this is not only true personally, but this is true spiritually. Have you ever uh, said things like, well, we've always done it this way, or I've always done that, that's, that's my job. I have a new statement for those. I call them future killers. You know, that when we always focus on how things have always been, that keeps us stuck in the right here and right now. I was thinking about my house. Maybe I have something that's sitting right here, and it's been there for years, but someone comes in and says, have you thought about putting it over here? Because if you put it there, you could use it for this and this and this. But I'm like, mm, no, it's good right there. But the problem with that is maybe it is so much more useful there. Let's take this in our spiritual life. Maybe you've done the same thing for years and it's worked really well. But maybe that was God's training ground. And his goal for you was to take what you've learned there and to now move it over here. But we all know, yeah, that's uncomfortable. But God is always talking to us through the Holy Spirit. But we have to ask ourselves the question that was in the verse earlier, which said, do you not perceive it? Is he speaking where we are just not listening, but he's been talking this whole time? And it may mean that God is ready to uh, have us let go of the things from our past, the things that are holding us down even emotionally. He wants us to look forward. And he wants to use us in a new way. But we have to trust his guidance in this unfamiliar territory. And we have to stop and listen to him in all the ways that he talks to us. He talks to us through his word. He talks to us through music on the radio, through other believers, through even just the things that we see around us and the needs that we see. But we have to trust him. And you will know that he's planting this new seed in you. And you may ask how. One of the things I've discovered is that it just keeps coming back to you. You'll hear it in a sermon. You'll hear someone talking about it. And God just keeps bringing it back to you. And this is meaning he's ready to do something new in you. We just want to be ready to do that with him and through him. Because he always has a plan, even in the wilderness. Because we are his new creation. Let's pray. Lord, we are thankful for your love. And we are thankful that your nurse mercies are new every day. Lord, we are always thankful for your son Christ, Lord, that brought us salvation and a new life. And we are blessed that you've given us an opportunity to serve you in your kingdom. Lord, we ask you to help us to be open and willing to hear and see the things that you are wanting to do in our lives and how we are a part in growing your kingdom. We are so thankful, Lord, that you love us and that you're willing to use us. We ask you to be with us in this new year and to, Lord, help us to open our eyes to see all the things that you have in store. In your precious name we pray. Amen.